Traveling this bending road is always an adventure, and I'm glad we can do it together. It's easier together because no matter where we go in life, two things are for certain. One, you will eventually come to a bend in your road, and two, God will always see you through. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and click the subscribe button so that you know when I upload my next video. In this way, we travel together and we encourage each other along the way. Hi, welcome to The Bending Road. I am really glad you could join us this week. I hope you've caught the last few videos and um, always feel free to comment on those. I would love to have conversation around some of the topics that we've talked about. Today, I am home. I'm in a new space. I'm not sitting in my office making my videos. And, and the reason is, is because we've got some bends in our road right now that um, we're trying to work through. So I had to change my schedule for today. And um, Dave is off doing some things. And I'm actually off to a, uh, an Emmaus, a walk to Emmaus retreat. Uh, this is a prep weekend for us. And I'm looking forward to the coming Emmaus walk. Um, where I'm going to be in a leadership role and with many, many other people. And I'm really honored. I have not done this before, so this is a new thing for me. And when Dave comes back um, after a couple of trips he's got to make, uh, we're going to have a house guest for a while. And that's going to be another bend in our road. That's always a, a learning curve, right? You got to learn new ways. You got to learn somebody else's ways and work together to live together. So it's got me thinking about a scripture verse, uh, Proverbs 3, 5, you probably know this, trust in the Lord with all your heart, lean not on your own understanding, in all your ways submit to him and he will make your paths straight. Well, I, I love that verse because it, it, it reminds me that even though this road is bending and moving and, and changing all the time and we've got some things coming ahead that we don't know exactly how they're going to play out, we need to trust in God because God has always already been there. God knows what's going to happen. I don't have to know everything that's going to go on. You know, it may, it may not seem like it but I am I am a rather introverted person I I like to I need that time of my own I need to have some, some time by myself to regenerate I don't I don't energize when I'm with people I am depleted when I'm with people not abnormal a lot of people are like that no big deal but going into a situation where I don't really know the people well or I don't really know how it's going to play out. I don't know what the, what the schedule is going to look like, or I don't really, really know what I'm doing. I'm not confident in what I'm doing. Those kind of situations make me really uptight. If I don't know like where I'm sleeping tonight, that's, that's intimidating to me. That, that worries me. That, that makes me anxious. If I don't know how the food meals are going to go, what the plan is around that, that makes me uptight. So going into this um, Emmaus, even this prep weekend is making me a little uptight. And and the coming walk to Emmaus weekend where I'm going to be um, helping out, that makes me uptight. All these people I don't know, things I don't know. So I go back to Proverbs, trust in the Lord. And trust in the Lord with all your heart. That's with everything you've got. Put it all on him. All of your worries, all of your cares, all of the, the things that make you anxious. Those are all heart things. All of those feelings, all of these, those emotions. Put those on God. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. Lean not on your own understanding. I don't know if that comes natural for you. Boy, it does not come natural for me. I lean on what I know. I lean on what is what I'm used to, what I'm familiar with, what I'm comfortable with, those things that I, I do well. 
But as I'm getting ready for this, this is telling me, lean not on your own understanding. Forget what you know. That's not important. Don't worry about what you're going to say is what Jesus told his disciples, right? The Holy Spirit will tell you what to say. Don't worry about that. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, some translations say submit to him. Some say acknowledge him. I, I like both. I like both. Now, I haven't done the nitty gritty figuring out what that original word was, but I like both of those words. Submit. Give up yourself and let God do the work. Give up yourself and submit to what God is doing. Or in all your ways, acknowledge him. Acknowledge God is is with me in my travels. God is with me in my decision-making around which way to go, my decision-making around what to eat, in my decision-making around, you know, where I'm going to sleep. God is doing that. God is taking care of the timing of the schedule, and God is taking care of the words that I'm going to say. God is taking care of all those people that I'm going to meet whom I don't know, who are going to make me uncomfortable. God is going to take care of that. And God will either, and I don't know yet, either provide me opportunity over the course of the weekend to come away, regroup, re-energize, or God will get me through that until I can get home, get in my car, which will be my safe space, and re-energize while I'm all by myself. Refill me in all of those things that have been depleted from me. God will take care of that. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. He'll let me know what way to go. He'll take care of all those things that worry me. I don't have to be anxious about these things. All I have to do is is let God direct my path. You know, when we have our house guest coming, we don't know how that's going to work out. Yes, we know our house guest, but who that is doesn't matter here. I may not know exactly how that's going to play out. I don't know when they're going to want to do their laundry. I don't know when they're going to want to eat. I don't know what their needs are. I don't know what their sleeping patterns are. I don't know what their job schedule is. I don't know a lot of things. I don't know if my dogs are going to get along with them. I don't know. I don't know how that what that's going to look like. I don't know how long they're going to be there here. I don't know. There's a lot I don't know. And if I allow myself, I could get all worried about that. I could get all worked up over that. But I'm not doing that. I keep telling myself, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to Him. Acknowledge Him. He will direct your path. It's okay. You know, when we say things like, don't worry, God's got this. Or relax, it's going to be okay. God's got this. When I say God's got this, I just realized that this is the passage of scripture that I'm talking about. God's got this. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. I want to challenge you today. Do you have a bend in your road either that you're currently in or that you see coming down the road. Mine are, mine are still out there a little bit. Where is the bend in your road? What is happening? How are you responding to that internally or in your head? You know, how is your heart feeling about that? And I challenge you to sit down with a piece of paper and Proverbs 3, 5 and ask yourself, what would it mean for me to trust in the Lord? What would it mean to trust in the Lord with all my heart, what would it mean for me to not lean on my own understanding? What are my understandings about this? What am I thinking I know about this? What would it mean to submit to him in all things and acknowledge him in all things? And what might it look like if I just let God direct my paths? There's your challenge for this week. As I'm doing this, you can do this along with me. And I hope you check out this this next video 
about being thankful for a mouse in my house. Am I thankful for the mice in my bath? Check that out. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Thank you for watching and thank you for working together along this journey. Connect with me on social media or on my website at bendingroad.weebly.com. Let me know how I can pray for you as you navigate the bend in your road. I pray that when you see the bend in your road, you will not be afraid, but will take the hand of God and keep walking. You are not alone.